Hi, everyone. This is Dr. V, and I have Anne here with me. And welcome to this week's episode of Tribe Talk. We have Jody Cohen on with us today, and we're super, super excited to introduce you uh, to Jody because Jody is teaching people around the world about essential oils. She is an essential oil expert. And so listen in today because we've got some fabulous information that we want to share with you. Absolutely. Let me tell you a little bit about Jody, everybody. Jody's the founder of Vibrant Blue Oils, where she's combined her training in nutritional therapy and aromatherapy to create unique proprietary blends of organic and wildcrafted essential oils. Now she has an upcoming book, Essential Oils to Heal the Brain and Boost the Body, Five Steps to Calm Anxiety, Sleep, Better Reduce Inflammation and Regain Control of Your Health. There it is. And uh, this book's going to introduce readers to the five necessary steps to reduce their stressors, their energy drains, and return the brain to optimal function. We're so excited for you, Jody, that you've got that book coming out. And you sent us some of your oils to try, myself and Dr. V, and we love them. And so we're excited to share that with all of our viewers today. Thanks for being here. Oh, my gosh. Thanks for having me. Of course. Yeah. So... We wanted to um, we wanted to start out uh, by asking you why is nobody else talking about using essential oils for healing brain related issues? I've asked myself the same question over and over. I mean, the joke of this is um, we live in Seattle where it's rainy, and so you know when my kids were growing up, we went to book stores like almost every weekend and they would pick their books in the kids section and then I would scour the you know healing racks and I was always looking for an essential oil book that explained things the way I they made sense to me the way I was noticing them in clinical practice and I could never find it and finally my son said mom you're just going to have to write it <laughs> so I did That is awesome but, um, <laughs> What, what, yeah. uh, what was it that inspired you to really get into the whole essential oils um, practice and using essential oils? Yeah, you know, I, um, I was trained as a journalist as a, and a researcher, and it was really a necessity as the mother of invention. Like I, you know, I liked oils, but I didn't really know about them. And then um, when my life kind of hit a, a rock bottom, I... Uh, I had come out of a super stressful experience and I just, pure adrenal fatigue, couldn't function, couldn't get out of bed, uh, was trying to ingest everything that I thought would help and nothing was really moving the needle. And fortunately, a good friend came over with a box of essential oils and said, you know, chronic cortisol for like decades means chronic inflammation in the gut. And when the gut is chronically inflamed, it's hard to assimilate nutrients through that channel. Oils can be topically applied. They go directly through the skin into the bloodstream. You can inhale them. This could really help, you know, like it's basically like your ambulance is stuck in traffic and can't get to you. So let's try a different route. And uh, I had been practicing nutrition for about three years at that point and knew um, a technique called muscle testing. So I was so depleted, I, I all I could do was muscle test the box. And I got a really strong response for the adrenals. I got five oils, which confused me momentarily because I was new to oils. And then it occurred to me, oh, wait, they're liquid. I can combine them. So I, you know, didn't know anything about oils, literally grabbed a shot glass from my kitchen, made my first blend, put it on my low back, and felt better pretty immediately and um, had a really productive kind of happy day, uh, was lying in bed at night thinking that was a good choice, you know, but then insomnia kicked in because that's often correlated with high stress levels. And I thought, wait a minute, I wonder if something will help with sleep. So I made another blend and I slept really well and I just kept making things up until I felt better. At which point my friends were asking, you know, to try what I was doing and they all loved it. And they kept saying, oh, you should do this. You should do this. And I, it occurred, you know, I was like, well, someone must be doing this. So I finally went online to research how people were um, using essential oils. And I was really surprised uh, that not only no one was really looking at oil blends through the lens of physiology and balancing organ systems and regions of the brain, 
but also that they made it so incredibly complicated. I was almost grateful that uh, my mental capacity was so limited that I didn't start with research because I would have felt completely unqualified. You know, I absolutely love your story about how you were using muscle testing. Um, a lot of people don't know about muscle testing, but uh, you know, for those of you who are not familiar with it, um, it is it is truly the um, one of the facets that we are seeing where uh, we are incorporating like science and spirituality, where you know it's actually coming together and using muscle testing is one of those things because by doing the muscle testing, you know you are in essence, asking your higher self, your unconscious mind, what do I need? Because our unconscious mind, our spirit, the essence of who we really are is all knowing. And, and if we can just tap into that, which most of us don't know how to do that, muscle testing is a very easy way to do it. You know, by understanding how to use that tool, um, that actually turned out to be a blessing for you, that that's the only thing that you had available to you to even figure out how to use these botanicals, um, you know, that are essential oils to actually help calm your your adrenal glands. I mean, that's absolutely fascinating. Yeah. You know, what's really interesting. I still formulate blends that way. And then I reverse engineer, I go back and I'm like, I'm working on one for resilience, which um, the oils that came up were, were grounding, you know, rooted oils, because you need to feel grounded and centered and then heart opening oils, because you need to kind of be able to receive and then um, uplifting oils, you know, so that you can kind of connect up and, and after, you know, it was purely muscle testing kind of chance. And then I'm like, oh, and then I started doing more research on the oils that I picked. And I'm like, oh, this makes complete sense. Well, but it's nice to get your head out of the game. <laughs> yeah. No, well, and you know what? Like oftentimes our head can be our biggest barrier to healing. We get in our way all the time. Right. And so I think that's amazing. And I think it's great that you're still using uh, muscle testing to help, you know, come up with different, different blends. And then you're going in and you're looking at the science behind these different plants and these different botanicals. Um, and so like, let's back up for a minute and talk about, um, the sympathetic versus a parasympathetic nervous system, because I heard you saying in your story that you found a blend, you know, to help calm your nervous system. And so for our listeners, when you're calming the nervous system, you're actually activating the parasympathetic nervous system and triggering or activating that vagus nerve, uh, which is a very big nerve in your body. Um, that is a wonderful way to activate the parasympathetic nervous system and take you from a state of fight or flight into a state of rest and digest where your body feels calm. And that's where it does all of its healing is in that state. You know, the vagus nerve, it's key to this whole process. What is it and how else does it play a role in, um, in like, brain issues, for example, or other types of conditions so that you can kind of help the listener to understand more about how the vagus nerve can help and what essential oils we can use to help trigger the vagus nerve. Yeah, most people, it's so funny. They've never heard of the vagus nerve. It's the longest nerve in the body that no one's ever heard of. And it's really the information highway that communicates from the brain to the body and the body to the brain. That means it's sending important messages to help your body digest your foods and your nutrients, to detoxify your waste, to calm inflammation, to calm the heart rate you know, and blood pressure, to um, help turn on immunity. And you're right, it's part of our, our operating system. Our autonomic, autonomic nervous system controls our automatic functions. And it's got two gears. The um, fight or flight, I'm in danger, resources need to be allocated towards immediate survival and not, you know, everything that's not relevant to my immediate survival gets kind of turned off. And then that um, rest, repair and recover parasympathetic state where everything is kind of, you know, digestion, detoxification, anti-inflammation goes back online. But to really understand the vagus nerve, it's helpful to understand the anatomy. So it's connecting the brain to the body. It starts at the very base of the brain, back of the head, and then it splits and winds around both sides and is most accessible. If you take a moment and just feel behind your earlobe, you'll feel that mastoid bone. That's where it's actually the thickest and the most accessible to the surface. And as you said, anywhere that you can 
activate it, stimulate it. It winds through the throat, the heart, the lungs, every organ of digestion and detoxification. So I knew that you wanted to activate the parasympathetic nervous system by stimulating it. You know, this is what yoga does through deep breathing and movements. Tatis Karazian talks about um, gargling, you know, gagging yourself with a tongue depressor, terrifying yourself, splashing yourself with freezing water. All of these things that didn't really, you know, when I would try to introduce them in my practice, compliance was very minimal because they all sounded unpleasant. And right around 2012, when I was uh, starting my company, there was some interesting research out of New York. This neuroscientist named Kevin Tracy was actually surgically implanting a pacemaker device in that space kind of right behind the earlobe on the mastoid bone. And he was using it to stimulate the vagus nerve there. And it was so effective that the FDA has approved it for epilepsy, migraines, and depression. And when I was originally trying to activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the calming nervous system, I was thinking, oh, calming oils, chamomile, lavender, it never worked. But when I saw this research on stimulation, it was like the light bulb went off and I said, oh, stimulatory oils, that's a different game. You know, and, and the reason that I use blends Oils can get into your skin, but it kind of depends. The smaller ones get in more quickly. So clove typically takes 30 minutes to get into your bloodstream, whereas lime has very, very small molecules. So that combination, it's like a good marriage, right? You get like, um, you know, the good researcher and the good cook and they're combined. You get the really stimulatory oil with the really small molecules and it acts almost like an acupuncture needle and stimulates that nerve, which is also, there are two acupuncture points right here that are really popular for calming the nervous system. So it's just like a really quick gear shift, literally like on your bike, you just shift gears and suddenly you're stimulating the vagus nerve, you're turning on parasympathetic, all of your blood flow is routed back towards your organs of digestion so you can actually digest, absorb, and assimilate your nutrients. It helps with kind of the, uh, the moving walkway of digestion and detoxification, making sure that, um, you know, the garbage actually gets shepherded out of the body as opposed to reabsorbed. It helps to calm inflammation. It helps to turn on your immune system. It's, it's really like the best reboot you could possibly do. And everything else that you're already doing works better when you're in the right gear, you know? Absolutely. You know, I actually keep your parasympathetic blend, blend right here on my desk with me while I'm working. And if I find myself worked up and having a really stressful day, I love that it's just so easy to take this out and apply it to that place or any other place. Oh, I know. But I love keeping that one next to me. Um, talk a little bit. We know you have your book coming out. And we're really excited that that's coming out for you. Talk about the five steps that you mentioned to regaining control of your health. Can you talk us through those? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's funny. The way I was trained, it was like, oh, everyone's individual. And, you know, you're starting from scratch every time. But after years of practice, you start to see trends. And you start to see that no matter what the diagnosis or the test results, there are kind of five underlying factors that when they're out of balance, symptoms tend to present. You know, the first one is the nervous system. This idea, you know, stress, everyone calls it stress. And when they say like, oh, just stop stressing, you know, if, if you're a normal person with a busy life, you have a job, a family commitments, it's not like you can make those go away. But when you're able to come at it from the parasympathetic nervous system perspective, it seems easier. It's, you know, that day when you're driving and someone cuts you off in traffic and you don't care, whatever, they're in a hurry, I'm good you know, versus the day when the same thing happens and four letter words fall out of your mouth. You know, the only variable is you. And the more you can make yourself resilient to any situation, you can't control anything that happens outside of you, but you can control your reaction. And that controls what chemicals, you know, are released through your body and how healing they are. So that's kind of the most important step. Another important thing is sleep. You know, if people aren't sleeping, it's really hard to heal, especially for the brain, because that's when the brain literally cleans house. You know, when we're sleeping, the brain is able to kind of turn off, shrink a little bit and let, um, you know, the cleaning mechanism called the glymphatic system kind of wash through the brain, clear out the metabolic waste, clear out any metals or environmental toxins that might have found their way there. 
And then the next step is drainage. It then drains down the neck. The neck is the bottleneck of the body. You know, it's kind of like being in the middle seat in the airplane between two linebackers and trying, you know, if, if they're too, you know, if you can't reach the armrest, you're kind of congested here. If your lymph is congested, if your vagus nerve, you know, then gets some toxic um, interference and stagnation, you know, blood flow, kind of your own structure and your muscles. So oils, topically applied oils, and there's tons of research in the book about this. It just helps to shepherd, you know, toxins out of the body. It, it, it's a little bit like that, that movie, you know, we're walking, we're walking, we're stopping. They can really help move things. Um, the last two are the energy to heal. So kind of the adrenal hypothalamus pituitary axis, and then uh, immune modulation and inflammation. But what's interesting is I kept noticing this, these five, you know, imbalances and noticing that when I help put them back in balance, no matter what was really going on, some people it was like, oh, I, you know, everything's gone. I'm great. Some people was like, I feel a lot better. I still have, you know, like parasites or some minor things, you know, and some people, you know, like chronically ill people or people that are suffering from Lyme, they, they feel better and they needed to do that work anyway before they do, you know, the, the next step work. So all of those things lend themselves nicely to oils. I don't, I don't love it when people are like, oh, oil's a magic bullet. I had a heart attack. You know, I'm like, if you're having a heart attack, go to the hospital. If you break your arm, go to the hospital. Oils can help with circulation and support healing, but don't start there. But, you know, if you're kind of like mostly healthy, maybe you're forgetting things more than you're used to. Maybe you're more tired than you're used to. Maybe you're carrying extra weight. You are the perfect person for oils. You know, these are a really good kind of preventative way to help you return to balance in kind of an easy, natural way. I love that. I love that. And so we just talked about these five different steps. Do you need to use like different essential oils for each step or do some of them overlap? And do you talk about that in your book? I really do. And I really actually have a quiz on the site to help you prioritize. I mean, I really think that um, for everyone kind of helping to activate the vagus nerve and turn on parasympathetic is ground zero. I have a free chapter that everyone can get. It's a boostthebrainbook.com slash gift. 25 ways to turn on your parasympathetic nervous system. Most of them are free. That just feels like basic hygiene, you know, brush your teeth every day and do that and get good night's sleep. Um, I walk through kind of the sleep imbalances. That's kind of priority too. And then the rest of them sometimes, I mean, as you know, sometimes when you help people calm stress and get sleep, like everything else gets better. You know, I, I tried to kind of prioritize them in what I thought was the order of importance. The next step is drainage. Most people, um, you know, it's funny. I have a friend who's starting a health business and she's been doing all this research. And she said that doctors tell her across the board that their patients that walk are healthier. Why? Because anytime you move your body, you're moving your lymph. And if you're not moving your body, your lymph is often stagnant. Even if you are moving your body, you can get stagnant. So anything that you can do to support lymph flow and blood flow, that's going to, you know, make a huge difference. You know, and, and then the last two, like immune modulation, your immune system needs to work with you, not against you. You can do them all together. I try to help you prioritize because, uh, you know, sometimes if you, you know, if you do step one and two, you don't need the rest of them. Awesome. Jody. how are, how are your vibrant blue oils different from other oils out there on the market? You know what? Well, first of all, they're organic because I think, you know, oils are the concentrated essences of plants. And if you're concentrating pesticides, that's not necessarily something you want to assimilate into your body. But mostly um, I found that a lot of the clients that were finding me weren't really do-it-yourselfers. They were people that were very nervous about getting it exactly right, doing it wrong. And they would rather I just did it for them and sent it to them and told them how to use it exactly. So that's what it is. It's my proprietary formulas done for you. You know, in the book, I'm also sharing recipes because with COVID, you know, it's been nearly impossible to ship to New Zealand. And we have a lot of people that want oils there. So I'm like, here, here's the raw materials. Here's how you do it yourself. So I'm just trying to meet people where they're at. If they want a done-for-you solution, I can provide that. If they 
love oils, have tons of oils, want to use what they have in their house. Great. I give you the recipes just, you know, so everyone wins. I love how you're providing so much value in your book by teaching people how to use the oils, how to blend the oils, what ratios to do. I, I, I think that's beautiful. Um, I've got a question. Can you share some case studies with us? Yeah. Yeah. One of the, the most profound ones, a, a girl came to me and she found out she was celiac on her wedding day because they had it in a wheat field and she had this crazy reaction. She was worried that her marriage was over because she was so, she felt like she couldn't eat anything. She couldn't go anywhere. She couldn't leave the house because she didn't quite know what was going to happen with her body. And so we have a, we call it a gut repair kit and we combine three different blends. One is parasympathetic. I think, you know, poor bride, she was so stressed on that day. You know, we just needed to kind of calm her nervous system down. And then sometimes when you're a overwhelmed, you know, your digestion runs hot. It's hot, hard to actually assimilate the nutrients and get the value. So we've got a blend that kind of supports calming inflammation in the gut uh, that you just rub clockwise around the belly button that hits a lot of reflex points. And it's people find that easier than trying to, you know, find stomach 26. Um, and then we also have an intestinal mucosal blend because, you know, so much of the, the probiotics, intestinal mucosa is a little bit like uh, if you're trying to put wallpaper on the wall, it's, you know, it's the primer, it's, you know, the base level so that other things can stick. And within two months, she was like, okay, I can, I can leave the house. Okay, I'm starting to add back foods. You know, those people that are down to like four foods uh, and they're not even foods they like. So that was a really powerful shift. Um, there was another case study, uh, a really anxious third grader that, you know, had been kind of uh, great and just had a, a trigger event and was suddenly so anxious that the mom basically had to sit in the hallway because the teacher didn't know what to do. Um, and so we used the uh, parasympathetic blend. And then I've got a calming blend called Calm that you can just smell or put on the heart. And within a week, the mom was like, not only do I not need to sit in the hallway anymore, but, you know, soccer used to be a really stressful experience where, you know, the kid would cry on the sidelines. Anyway, they actually scored a goal in the game. So that was a big win. That's awesome. I, I love it when there are real stories of real people that you can share. And, you know, that lets everyone know just how powerful, you know, these things are and, and, um, Jody, how can people get your essential oils? How do they get a hold of your book? If they want to read your book. When is that coming out? That is uh, available everywhere on March 16th. And if um, we have a bunch of book bonuses, they can just go to boostthebrainbook.com slash gift and get a bunch of bonuses. They can always find me at vibrantblueoils.com. We've got tons of blog posts, tons of really detailed information on the research, the studies, how to apply it. And then we're always available to answer questions at info at vibrantblueoils.com. Thank you so much for joining us today, Jody. We absolutely love you. We love your oils. We love your mission. We can't wait to get a copy of the book for each of us so that we have, you know, more more guidance and instructions on how to use these essential oils. And we wish you the best of luck with your launch. We know that you're going to do fabulous with your launch. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You're so welcome. And we'll have you back again soon because I think that your mission is really important and educating people, um, you know, sharing with them some of the amazing things that you have in your book, maybe just little tiny pieces of it in future interviews would be a lot of fun to really encourage people to just buy the whole book so that they can get all the information. That would be a lot of fun to do a future interview with you. Thank you so much. And Thank you for all of our listeners at Tribe Talk, all of you guys who and ladies who follow us. We love providing amazing information with you, and we love getting to share our experiences with our colleagues and our friends and other specialists around the country who are so dedicated and devoted and love what they do, who are just out there helping people and making a big impact on the world. Thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you again on the next Tribe Talk.